Hi, this is Ron again. I'm going to show you the Victorian House products and what it can do to a beautiful inlaid piece like this. This is an old item that's dried out, maybe has some scratches, and this is safe on the inlay. All you do is take your product, you shake it up, gets it kind of milky, you want to keep it that way. Put it on a pad of 4 lot steel wool, but a third pad. You want to start applying it to the finish. And the idea is to get it wet and even, just like this. We're going to do about half of this and let you really see. But you want to keep this wet. That's very important. You don't just saturate it once and do the whole item. You have to keep putting it on. It's kind of like you're painting on a finish. You want to keep it wet and even and get that in there real good. You're not going to hurt your finish in any way. Come back once you cover that item like that, and you're going to come back with a good paper towel to wipe any excess. What goes in is what's going to fix the finish. What does not go in, you want to wipe away. And we do use a paper towel simply because a rag will get dirty and oily and you'll just smear it right back on. Get a good absorbent paper towel, wipe that very, very thorough. As you wipe, you're going to start seeing some dirt and stuff coming off. You're not taking your finish off. You want to wipe that very thorough. Get a new towel as you need to. That's the importance of the paper towel. A rag will just get dirty and oily. Keep wiping that very, very thorough. I think you can already see a nice, beautiful inlaid piece there that's really come back to life and how dry it still looks over there. And we'll go ahead and do that second half. And just shake your product up, get your steel wool, get it wet again, and start painting it on wet and even. It's real, real easy to do. You cannot do anything wrong you put it on wet and even, and you wipe everything off that did not go in. And it doesn't take that long to do that, but it's very important to not leave it on there wet. Wipe it down very thorough. And I guarantee you, you can't feel this, but if you was feeling this before I did it, it feels a little bit prickly and rough, and when I get through, it's going to be real smooth and look good, and it's going to feel real good because it got all the dirt any kind of wax or anything that's built up on there. And that is your original color. We did not in any way use any stains. So you can use it on a beautiful antique. It'll still be the original color. Didn't hurt the inlays a bit. Just makes it come back to life. And since it goes in, it stays for years. It does not evaporate away. One easy application. Five bottle, the Victorian house, finish rejuvenator. Uh, uh, www.thevictorianhouseproducts.com and try some today, you'll like it.